Greece. I'm sure you can imagine the beautiful white houses with blue rooftops in Santorini or endless beaches and crystal clear water, ancient ruins and amazing nightlife. But actually Greece is much more than that and today I want to show you the not so well-known city of Thessaloniki, which is actually the second largest in the country after Athens. Hi guys, it's Basi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to see you here and today we are in one of my favorite cities in Greece. We are in Thessaloniki and I want to take you around with me and I want to show you the main tourist attractions, where can you eat and this is actually suggested from a local and let's see all the fun things that will happen to us. Let's go! And I'm actually quite embarrassed of saying this in public but if you like this type of content where I travel, I take you with me, give you some suggestions or tips about London, don't forget to subscribe. It would really really mean a lot to me because as you can imagine no one is really sponsoring this trip than myself. The city of Thessaloniki is located around 500 kilometers northern from Athens and it is in the region of Macedonia and it has over 1 million inhabitants. How can you get here? I took a flight from London Heathrow and landed directly in the city of Thessaloniki. And first, let me give you a little bit of history and background of the city. The city was founded in 315 BC by Sassander of Macedon and it was also an important metropolis in the Roman period and it was also the second largest and wealthiest city of the Byzantine Empire and after that it was conquered by the Ottomans in 1430. It passed from the Ottoman Empire to Greece at the 8th of November 1912. What can you actually do in the city? At the moment we are in Anopoli, which is basically the oldest uh, neighborhood in Thessaloniki and it's actually the only one which wasn't affected by the fire in 1917. And from one side we have like beautiful old buildings like this one, from the other we have the city. And this is basically how it looks, it's actually called Upper Town and uh, it's located north of the city center and it has like this very well preserved Ottoman houses. And just a tip, that's actually an amazing place for an Instagram spot because as you can see, some of the houses are super well preserved whereas others are a bit in ruins or with the graffiti and I think it's pretty cool. And this is actually a cat's paradise. There are literally cats everywhere and people love them. Now we are in front of the church of Saint Demetrius. By the way, guys, this is my first kind of like solo trip and I find it a bit weird. I mean, there are some moments which I wish I could share with someone or just talk about the experience a little bit, but it's fine. And I'm actually quite curious, guys, do you like traveling on your own? And I just don't want to tell you how much people were staring at me, but yeah, it's fine. I guess not many vloggers come in here. And this is how the kind of normal streets look like. There are graffiti everywhere, which it's quite nice, but some of the buildings are old and not renovated. And uh, yeah, I just feel bad for that. I feel like we should do a shots game. Every time we see a flag here, you guys should drink. So for now you have only here one, two, three, four. So four shots for that. And guys, I was actually on my way to the food market and uh, yeah, right in front of me popped up this. And this turned out to be the Roman Forum, which is also known as the ancient Agora of Thessaloniki and it dates back to the 2nd century AD and it's also the largest archaeological site of Thessaloniki. But guys, like literally walking around the city, you see uh, all around uh, ancient churches or uh, ancient Roman forums like that. So it's you really have a lot of things to see in the city. Unfortunately, I think I chose a bad day to come because as I told you now because of the 
uh, festivity of the city pretty much everything is closed and I thought it's going to be only on Monday but uh, it turns out that it's three days so most of the things are still open and this is the Kapani market and for me markets are always a must to see in every city because you can really understand what do locals eat or uh, you can just better understand their traditions and in this market it's usually full of fish but unfortunately I came a bit later so most of it was already gone but you can also find meat, fish, lots of spices, uh, also travel equipment, utensils, clothes, uh, shoes or a lot of olives that I totally love or also sweets and fruit and basically anything that you can think of. And if you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe. And I'm not just saying this like that because guys, just a pre-story, I traveled like in total four hours by bus on my own, just so I can show you around. And I got lost quite a lot of times. Okay, and guys, I don't know if you know this, but I actually, I don't eat meat and I'm very sensitive when I see dead animals. And now right in front of me, I see this. And something that really impressed me is the meat that is just hanging like that. Super good. I'm in the middle of the square and behind me there is the Ark of Galerios. I hope you can guys hear me because here it's quite loud. And after that behind me there is also the Rotonda and also another church behind me. So in this small square there's so many things. And the Ark asserts the glory of the Galerius dominance and it is uh, an extension to the Galer Galerius palace. This is the Rotonda. It is a massive round building which is also said to be Thessaloniki's oldest monument, which counts 16 centuries of existence. I thought it's going to be colder, so I'm wearing like a sweater and a, weather, and a leather jacket and I'm kind of boiling. And this is kind of like the main street and around it there are lots of shops, cafes and it also leads to the sea. And guys, if you're keeping up with the shots game, you should at least drink 10 shots in here because look at all those flags. As you can see behind me over there, this is the White Tower, which is actually a former prison, prison and also one of the landmarks of the city. And it was used both as a fortification and uh, during the Ottoman rule period it was also used for a mass execution and actually it was all covered in blood. But after that, when the Greeks took control, the exterior was whitewashed. Most important thing, where and what should you eat? And guys, with my luck, of course, it was closed, but instead I will take you with me and we'll go and try this kind of baklava but instead uh, it inside it's full of cream and uh, my friend Sofia actually told me that this is a must and it's super good and I definitely have to try it and I'm super excited so yeah let's go and see maybe it's actually more toward than visiting the tower and since I couldn't go this time here is an old photo of me when I was like 17 or 18 at the tower this is actually a bakery that I saw on my way to the other one but how delicious does it look and I pass from locals and their look is like what the fuck because they see this every day and like those kind of bakeries are literally everywhere so for them it's like super normal and I'm like oh my god so delicious these are the ones that i got basically they fill in this cone with a cream right in front of you and it's super fresh and i just got it as you can see it was like this here it is it's like a cone and it's filo pastry and there's like so much freaking filling i love that it's really really full and oh my god i can't wait to try it and it was only one euro 30, so I like that. Yum, 
yum 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 This is the best thing I have ever had. It's like filo pastry, you can really feel the butter. Super sugary and sweet, but not too much because you kind of feel notes of honey and then the cream. It's kind of like the cream for a cake, but lighter and with more taste. I swear, I freaking love it. I love it. 10 out of 10. And also something quite nice is that there are uh, street artists everywhere, like this one. And look at him, it's like just standing on the street, but he's performing for And actually now I will be heading off to have lunch because I just met with my friend Sofia and uh, yeah, she was super nice, we had coffee together and she lives here and she gave me so many suggestions of places where I can eat or drink so I will have all the places uh, list down below in the description so if you ever come here definitely check it out and now let's go and see how is this restaurant and I'm so hungry so let's go and check it out this is how it looks from the inside it has a market and you can see like the fish there and meat and you can also buy lots of local products it does give me like some whole food vibes if i have to be honest but it's definitely cheaper and uh, also more local literally hoping that they bring it as soon as possible because i'm super hungry basically i got this like falafel with uh, fava beans which is supposed to be a starter but from what i have seen like portions here are quite big for me so we'll see and it costs 8 euros here is my adult how good does it look it also has like quinoa and tzatziki and let's do a little base test for you apple which inside looks like that by the way you don't know how much people were staring at me it's quite embarrassing we do the mm. it's super fresh crispy and I can actually feel that the falafel is made at the moment and it also has like the quinoa and also hummus on the other side so it says it's a starter but I would say it's quite a good meal And here from one side you can look at the sea and then on the other side of the street it's full of cafes, restaurants, bars and everything has a sea view and it's literally one cafe after the other one and I also sat in one of them. Having a frappe it's kind of a must and they also bring you free biscuits which I totally love. And the cafe where I was sitting it looked pretty much like that and it also has a sea view which is super nice. And guys, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video and I just wish you were here with me, especially to taste this deliciousness that I have to understand still what's the name. And I hope to see you again on my channel. It was super nice taking you today with me around Thessaloniki. And let me know in the comments down below, would you come and visit the city? And again, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. Love you, bye.